So the YOLO Box Extreme, a powerhouse touchscreen device with a ton of features, ports, and an all-in-one solution to do professional 4K live streams or video switching directly from here. Now, I did a whole video highlighting monitor mode, but this time I wanna to jump to the live streaming side and see how to set it all up because this thing is just, wow. Mr. Black. And by the way, welcome to the channel where I love to share with you cool gear that comes my way. If you like gadgets and gear, you're a nerd like me, hit that subscribe button. Also the like button lets YouTube know and they'll keep giving that kind of content. I'll put links down in the description. And again, I have a full video showing this design and all of the features and I'll link to that at the end of this video. But if you can't wait, I'll put a little video link that you can click on up here at the top corner. So click on that and uh, you can watch that and then come back to this one. All right, so yes, we power this thing on and we have two options here. We have monitor mode, which we already looked at and we have live streaming mode. And at the moment I actually have three HDMI sources connected to this right now, an HDMI source for my computer. Plus I have it connected to a webcam up here and there's still four HDMI sources left. Plus there's two HDMI outs that I have going to a monitor here and a monitor behind me. So there's an SD card slot on the front where you can pop your SD card in there and you can record everything in 4K right there. And then I also have it connected to the YOLO deck, which is right here off the side, where it's super simple to set up. You can have all your sources, you can have videos, you can have video clips, you can have graphics, and everything just right at your fingertips. That way, if you don't have quick access to this unit right here, and then you can jump to different shots. I also have the audio going out to this Rode microphone, and then I have a USB-C cable connected to the computer to record directly there, and also have USB-C for power. But it does have a long battery life as well, so you don't have to have it powered in continually. Now I can plug it in with ethernet to the network, but it also does have Wi-Fi, so we could connect to Wi-Fi or SIM card for data. So you can take this thing with you anywhere and stream from it with good signal. Let's not delay anymore. Let's get into this live streaming software. So we can create a live stream by pressing the plus sign, give it a title. You can add, schedule a date and time, add a thumbnail, and you can just create. You can add platforms like Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, RTMPSs. We're gonna go in to a standard event here. Now HDMI 1, 2, and 3 only supports 1080p. So if we wanna jump up to 4K, we actually have to move these over to ports 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So you do that 4K stream right here, 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. So we have this plus button on here, split views side by side. You can customize all of that and you can add uh, your video sources and NDIs, all of that stuff right here. That way, if you have like an intro or a countdown or like you have some ads or things like that that you wanna add in your stream, you can just put them all right there. That's awesome. If we wanted to do like a picture in picture video, pick the two sources. So if I want this to be my number one source, and then the overhead to be the side source. You can change the scale of this, make it smaller. You can even drag this on the screen. How cool is that? So I want it up here. So we can save that, done. If you get a scene just right, but you wanna just change that scene a little bit, you can replicate that scene and it makes it really easy to do. So now you can also add network bonding. So if you're doing something really professional and you do not want any dropouts at all, that bonds your Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and 4G. And so if one starts screwing up, it will take from others and just keep it perfect for you. You can add some overlays, like you can add, uh, like this little show starts in 10 minutes, so you have your own countdown, add more with this plus sign. They give you a bunch of options too, so you can have like time overlays, um, add some like social media stuff, web URLs, lower thirds, image overlays, titles, so you can get that all set up before your stream obviously, or, but you can do it on the fly as well, which is awesome. You can invite guests, just automatically, or you can have like a waiting room. I just sent out an email to my friend Xander Round, and all he did is he just clicked on the link that was in the email, and it allowed him to join, and then I could set up the scene how I want, and that makes it super easy, and have a lot more fun with streaming, not just with who's here in your studio space, but also anyone anywhere. You can see on here all of the audio meters for all the sources that are coming in, and you can add background music files, so if you wanted like a cool beat or something like that, you can add like a playlist of music there. If you're doing any kind of sports live streams, you can have a scoreboard display. So you can add that here and you can make it uh, bigger. Say you're recording a football game and they made a really cool play. You can actually set up replays. You can even adjust the replay video speed, uh, the duration. And then if we want to recall someone hit replay, play now. And then that shows you what I just did. And it says replay at the top, which is kind of cool. 
you can actually see comments coming through and just being able to throw those chats on the screen just makes you know whoever is watching and chatting feel more participated in the stream itself as you're streaming you can record directly onto that sd card you can even select certain sources whether it's the program out or just one specific source and then you have your transitions right here so that way when you fire up and change to different scenes it will change that automatically if there's ones that you access more and more you can actually even reorder the tools so if you don't need network bonding that much you can throw that one down further uh, maybe you want to get to the comments a lot quicker in the settings further you could go uh, director mode and you can actually have it uh, as a program and preview so you know what your preview is going to be you could have it so you have one click to switch or you could do double click to switch just in case you accidentally tap it i can also make this bigger as well if i wanted to make it like simple be able to switch between these things like that there's just a lot that you can do to customize this and i love that so much and so this requires a lot of back end, getting your sources all set up, getting all your graphics set up so that you're ready for that stream. And then once you're ready, you're all locked in, you can hit go live. So you can actually see on the screen, yeah, we have a 4K stream. Look at that quality, 4K. So that works, you're live, a 4K stream. You have all of your graphics there. You can take this thing with you anywhere. It's recording as well. You can actually exit and then come back to it. it. Saves that as a stream and then even saves your scenes and all of that stuff so you can easily recall it if you're starting a new stream. And there's just so much that I could say about the YOLO box here because it's it's actually incredible. This is just beyond anything else I've ever seen in a video switcher live streaming device monitor. This is incredible. So having said all of that and tested it all out and shared this with you guys, and again, stay tuned because I'll have some more follow-up videos testing out some other features on this thing. There's, there's just so much going on. And I might even set up some live streams as well just to go live from it because it, it looks great. If you want to see some other cool gear that I've shared on this channel, including the YOLO Box Extreme original video that I made, you can click and watch that one right there, or you can see one of these other ones. And uh, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it.